Hello. Family and connection points. So I debated whether I should label this part one um, because we're not going to cover it all in a really short vlog and there's so much there and where do we start? And it depends on the age of your child. It depends on how many children you have. It depends on the needs of your children. It depends on your own capacity. So you can probably see a little bit about what I'm getting at here is that it's unique. It varies between families and between individuals. And it's one of the things that frustrates me when I read um, you know, so, so much stuff online that portrays these picture-perfect families or you know, we have, sometimes have the quotes and inspiration that throw, throw out lovely things, but they're not individual. And it's great if you come across something like that and you can take something from it that it speaks to you. I mean, I've, I've had that feeling and it's wonderful. But I just want to reiterate that, you know, how you create connection in your family is entirely up to you. So good case in point, uh, when I hopped off the vlog last night talking about sport, I realised one of the things I hadn't talked about, um, about going to watch and being an observer of um, professional sport, was um, that was one of the things I did growing up with my mum and sometimes my brother and my cousin. So we had this you know, wonderful experience of sharing that together and that was a, you know, a core piece during football season some years of how we connected. So, you know, that is certainly not going to be the same for other families. You know, some people connect, some families connect when they go camping. Um, some connect when they, you know, run together. I know families who, who go running together. Some connect when they go shopping together or listening to music or going to a concert. And, now, there's no right or wrong way. If you go back to what is the heart of connection, is you know when you're with someone and you feel a spark, when you notice an energy, when you're sustained, when you're strengthened, when you're experiencing all these things, there's a connection there. Um, so it doesn't really matter what medium you use. So have a think about, um, you know, for example, choose a child and think about, okay, what do they like to do? What do they like to do that I could imagine I might enjoy doing as well? Um, you know, how does my child like to be valued? Do they enjoy being hugged? Would they rather a high five? Would, do they like, like it when you tell people about how great they are? Would they like a, a note, a handwritten letter? Would they like you to make them breakfast? You know, would they like you to take them for a driving lesson or shopping or... What are some of the things that they value? And your child is going to be different from the child next door. What we do know that children really like and value is time spent with you. Time spent without distractions, without the phones, one-on-one, -on -one individual attention, you and them. So part of this advice is if you have more than one child and getting everyone together is really hard, it's okay to spend you know, time one-on-one -on -one with different members of the family. And if everyone gets a turn at feeling connected, that's better than going out and just having a horrible time and not feeling connected with anyone. So, um, so family connections, where do we start? We start with knowing yourself and knowing your child and picking something that you think is going to be in a medium that they enjoy and there's an opportunity for them to be seen and heard and valued by you. Okay, so finishing up tonight, I am going to be starting in about a week's time opening the doors for creating Christmas calm. And that is, we ran it last year and it really helps people move from feeling overwhelmed about everything that's goes on with Christmas when we're talking about connection that's often a fraught time for people for a myriad of reasons so this helps people move from being overwhelmed feeling calm and creating the Christmas that you want 
So if you would like some tips and ideas to create the Christmas you want, stay tuned um, for our pop-up group. Okay, until tomorrow, I'll see you later. Bye.